What is up everyone? This video was going to be me taking you to Vermont for some hiking, thrifting, and living in a hut, but then I decided to live in the moment. So here is something better. But first, let me show off our little hut, AKA oh, Aline too. Hawaiian rolls, just trust the process. It's amazing. And here's our little setup. Oh wait, I'm literally holding the flashlight, guys. All right. We're in a little, I call it a little yurt thing. And then we hung this up. And this is the sitch. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up everyone? We have a change of plans for this week's video because I was in nature and then I really just wanted to be in nature, you know? I didn't want to record, didn't want to film. So we went from being in nature Natasha is what I'm calling myself, my alter ego in the wilderness because now I have a new deeply rooted love for the wilderness. Anyway, um, my ADHD brain goes a million miles a minute, so we went from Nature and Natasha to now we need to find Halloween costumes. We are at Salvation Army right now, and we're gonna see what we can find. I have a couple ideas in mind, so let's go. So far, we are not doing too well. This is what we have. What do I tell you guys all the time? Dan von Fostenberg never won $10. You best believe I found a little skirt. I think the worst thing ever is knowing that you don't need something, so you really talk yourself out of getting it. Mm, and I think that's what I'm doing with that Lululemon skirt because I'm kind of over Lululemon and I just don't need another active wear skirt but on the update of uh, Halloween costumes I'm not finding anything I am finding so many things that I do not need this is by Wild Fox they do have a little stain in them but it would come out we have those and then we have these pajama pants with puppies. Oh my gosh. So cute. And then we have this little weird, oh it looks really weird on camera. This corset, oops. This corset thing, I have to try that on. And there's the rest. Again, nothing that I need, but what? Juicy. They're at uh, XL, so they probably wouldn't fit me. But oh my gosh, wicked cute. That was the most insane thrift haul of stuff that I absolutely did not need. But I cannot wait to show you guys everything that I, that I got and try them all on for you. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. I'm so excited. Oh! I think I really need to start like taking my ADHD meds when I go thrift shopping. You all wouldn't like that, but <laughs> for my bank account, it's possible. All right, now to the dentist, and then we're going to another one on the way back home from the dentist, but I am really going to try hard to stick to the plan. <laughs> the plan is, obviously looking for Halloween stuff. I need Cam here to keep me on track. Oh boy. The teeth are clean and now we are at our, we are at our second location. I love the store. So <laughs> love the store. Uh, let's see what we find. Okay, when I tell you guys a random section, this is what I mean. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's so much going on. And I just found this flannel by Vince, and it is $10. I wanted to try it on and double check, but random sections are where to come. 
Also, I don't know if this is wicked weird, but I get down to the floor when I'm looking for jeans, especially if I know what type of cut I want, like a boot cut or a flare, so that that's what I'm looking for. So don't be afraid to look weird in thrift stores. I feel like I should also mention that I can really get caught up in name brands and sometimes I literally buy things just because it's a name brand, not even because I need it. So by coming down to the floor and like looking at the cut, it really takes away the tag, the name brand, and I can focus on exactly what I'm looking for. Another tip that is so underrated is looking in this section with the hats and specifically this middle row um, because they always have wicked cool tights. Like this one, it's a little dirty, but some neon tights. Hey, it's around Halloween. You never know what you're gonna need them for. So always look in this area. They have some really cool things. All right, we are ready to try things on. It may not have looked like I bought things for Halloween, but I promise I did. Sprinkled in there somewhere. Um, today, we have a guest. This is Mr. Fenway. Um, he is, I don't know, gonna be rating my looks. We're gonna see. What he wants to do, he might just sleep. Um, okay, hello. So we have all these different outfits. I also went to a couple different stores that I didn't film. I'm so sorry. I actually forgot my camera at home. But let's start trying things on and let's see what fits and what doesn't fit. All right, messy hair is up. First up, we have this romper. I just needed to show you the amazing texture if it wants to focus. There we go. And it is so incredible. We're gonna try it on, don't worry. Um, this little belt, not belt, this little, oh my gosh, how do I get it together? Ah, oh boy, okay. Ah, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to do that on my own? I guess I'm not, but it has this really cute little buckle detail and it is by Finders Keepers, which is an expensive brand. Uh, Finders Keepers, it's a medium and this was 13, 49. Does that want to move? 13, 49. Just take my word for it. Let's put her on. Holy crap, this is wicked cute. I need to put it on in the mirror. Show you in the mirror. This would buckle, but obviously I can't do that by myself. So let me show you in the mirror. I'm sorry my room's a little messy, but look at the outfit, not my room. <laughs> okay, so here it is on. It's a romper, by the way. <laughs> The back again this is actually really really cute and I'm so glad I picked it up I was a little hesitant that it was gonna be too big because it was a medium but honestly I have found things that I fit in large extra large medium so these days I just take it and I utilize the exchange policy if it doesn't fit okay so I looked it up and it is about 50 to like $200 depending on where you're finding it. There's Depop, List, Poshmark, all the different places. Um, but if you like it, I will list the name of it right here so you can look it up. Next, we have this little skirt. It is by, it is by Aeropostale. It's an old Aeropostale one because it's an old tag. It is a 7-8. And Fanny decided to chew up my tags, but I saved them for you all. Don't you worry if I can find them. Where is it? Here it is. Please enjoy my chewed up tag. Um, wicked cute. Yep, $9. And we're going to try that on along with this cute little butterfly shirt. Not my proudest purchase because it's by Shein, but I did buy it at a thrift store, so it's okay. It's fluffy, in case you were all, what words, words are hard. In case we're all wondering, let's put it all together. Another transition, let's go. All right, and here we are, this fits. I would probably wear it with a bra, I'm just a bra girl. Um, but it fits and it's really cute. And also, I found this in the scarf section. So once again, one of my tips is you need to have time to look everywhere because you just never know what you're gonna find. This was, I just cut off the tag, where was it? It was $1.99, because I thought it was a scarf. So, I will take that. And then, let me show you the skirt. Okay, here is the skirt. I think it's wicked cute. It is a little short, I will say, but that's what a mini skirt is for. So, I think it's really cute. The pockets are wicked big too. It takes up, obviously, all of this real estate right here. 
And this is for a Halloween costume. I will... I am going to LA for Halloween, so I will be vlogging it so you'll see what it is. But I think it's really cute, perfect for what I'm going for. And yes, this was $8.99, $1.99, an $11 outfit. Next item is from Wild Fox, and it is a size large. They are these really cute, just plain sweatpants. They're not plain, they're sparkly. But they have these really cute... They smell brand new. That's really weird. Um, they have these little stars. We're going to try them on. They do have a little stain on them, so I have to let them soak. These were $8.99. Ooh, they are wicked soft. Holy moly. Now I understand the hype around Wild Fox. Okay, so these are the pants. I can't believe these are a large. Like, seriously, sizing should be universal. That's just my opinion. But here they are close up. I think they are super cute, super comfy. Oh, they don't have pockets. Interesting. Um, yep, no pockets. Okay, well. Okay, and the next pair of pants are these ones that you saw earlier in the video. These cute little puppy pants. They are by... PJ Salvage, which is actually a very good pajama company if you're ever looking for really good quality pajamas. They are a size small. They're replacing some other pants of mine, so I am super excited. Let's see if they fit. Here they are. They are a little see-through, I can see, but obviously doesn't matter. They're pajama pants. Um, super, super, super cute. Obviously, again, no pockets, but I love them. Too bad there's no Fenny on them, huh? I don't see a Fenway. I don't see a Fenway. <laughs> but super cute. I'm getting very lucky in the um, sizing department, the fitting, the fitting of all my things. So let me know what your favorite is down below because obviously there's a lot of favorites in this and we're not even done yet. Oh, I also got this. I also got this really cute little fur thing. I'm not even sure if it's real. Um, it's like super soft though and it was only $2.99 and it wraps around and it has this cute little ball right here I don't even know if you can see it this little ball and then you just put it through wherever you want it to be and there it is and it keeps you nice and warm and then obviously your jacket and keeps you warm it's so soft I just hope it's like not real so very excited about this little guy two dresses a corset top and oh i have some tights are they not they're not exactly tights they go like this they go all the way up to there i don't want to take them out yet um these are coming to la they're gonna be part of a costume but they were 5.99 which was a little pricey if i must say okay this is the dress it is by david's bridal and it was 16.99 it is very, very pretty. We're going to put her on and show you. And I actually did just wear this for a photo shoot. So if you want to see those pictures, those will be on my Instagram. You can follow me right here. And I am actually really excited. That was in a hedge maze and in an apple orchard. So very cool. But we're going to try this bad boy on. And let's see what she looks like. Okay, and here is the dress on. I literally feel like a princess. And I feel like a cake topper all at the same time. I think it's just like the, the little scrunchy parts that are doing it for me. It is super, super cute. It did come with a belt, but it was weird. So we're not going to use the belt. But this has potential for Halloween. Again, like I said, I use it in a shoot. But I think that, I mean, how hard does LA go? I have no idea. But this could be bra. We'll see how much room is in the suitcase this is the next dress this was or this is uh part of one of my halloween costumes again haven't even tried it on yet so hopefully it fits because again we're down in crunch time i think it's like the 20th or something the 21st right now so here is this dress oh as i just it laces up in the back and it's like black lacy and it's white all the way down it is a floor length gown this was $10 and $10. It's by Prom Girl and it's a size four. There is that. So let's put this little bad girl on and hopefully she fits. 
All right, I'm not sure what's happening with this. It's very uh, lacy. Oh, and it's not really working with the hips. The material is not. Let's see. Let's see. Please hold. If we can zip her. She's not even close to being zipped. All right, well, so much for that costume. At least I can exchange it. Um, cool. Anyway, we have three more things, I realized. Um, we have a vest. We have a Wicked Cool travel case, and we have the corset. So let's do the corset. Hopefully that'll... Hopefully that will turn this flop around. Okay, so this next thing is a corset. I don't know if it's because it's pretty late in the evening. It's feeling a little tight right now in all the places. But I also am wearing a bra with it, which I don't think I need because it has boning in it. Um, that's the back. Let me show you in the mirror. I also can't seem to button this. But this goes up like this. And it's by Cache, and it's a size 2. Once again, I'm going to say it again, I think that the world needs universal sizing because that 4 was not a 4. And this 2 is probably a 2. Um, but let me show you in the mirror. <laughs> okay, this is it in the mirror. It has this weird little fold, but again, I think it's because I'm wearing a bra with it and I don't need it. I really like this little V detail right here. My mom said that it looks like, um, like it's pointing to that ooh ooh. But, um, it's, it's okay. Uh, so I think it's really cute. It has this really cool, like, sheen to it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see it in the light a little bit. I think it's really cool. Fun fact, this was actually the same brand that made my 8th grade semi dress. So, it holds a little special place in my heart. Especially when I saw it. I was like, I need it. So, this could also be used for a Halloween costume. I don't exactly know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. All right, and my two final things are this vest. It is reversible. I'm not sure I will ever use that side, but I really like this color green. And it, again, it doesn't have a tag because it's reversible, but I think it's like a large or it's a men's or something. But I think it's really cute with the plaid little detail, but not like too much going on. And it goes pretty far down, almost covers my butt and I found a saver's receipt. Imagine that. All right, I probably need that for something. But so this is my little new vest. I think it's really cute. If I didn't already say it, it was $8.99. Um, and I have a travel case I wanna show you. This is a travel case. <laughs> if I didn't already mention that. It pops up like this. And it has this cute little, oh, wrong side. Oh, wrong side, oh my God. Oh my god! Okay, it has this cute little zipper pocket down here. And this is by Shea Mitchell's brand Base. Base? Base? I don't know. Bayus. Um, but I saw this, and it's never, ever, ever been used. This is it opened. It's a pocket on this side. It has a waterproof pocket on this side, which I don't know if you can see. It says toothbrush. And it, like, opens up to a square so you can put it on your counter and, like, get everything in it. This was $7.99. Do, 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 focus. $7.99 and never been used. And I was like, what the heck? So I went on the website and this is, I think, about $48, $48.50. Um, so I'm super excited. The reviews on this were absolutely insane. Everybody loves it. Um, and I needed a new one anyway. And it's the perfect light pink shade. So check the purses, check all the sections, people. And that is our video for today. My camera just got darker and I don't know why. But that was our video for today. Um, I think Mr. Fen wants to be featured, so here we are. Don't forget to like, comment, and especially subscribe if you liked this video. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you have any other video ideas that you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. I will be responding to all of you. And I am so excited for fall and Halloween and to show you all my looks. <gasps> Should we get Fenny a costume?
It's your first Halloween, baby. And his birthday's in November. All right. Mwah. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.